Hey, today we're gonna be discussing what the best gun is for the new Northridge Assault game mode. But before I dive into that, let me share that unfortunately I have not been selected to be part of the blue team. Like the streamers, the well-known streamers, iStream, Said, and all the others. And the only reason for that is because my channel is small and most of the community members just simply don't know me. But you can help with that. You can help by tapping the subscribe, by giving this video a like, by leaving comments and such. Big W to all of you who already subscribed, guys. Thank you for the support. Thank you for populating my Discord. You are all the best. Now, let's get into Northridge Assault. And actually, before I talk about the guns, let me share my first impressions. I'm going to be sharing them in the order they happened to me. And it would be nice to see if you can relate to this, guys. So, first one. What is this game mode? Another TV station faction war, but now on Northridge? First game was easy victory. Good stuff, good loot. So I was like, okay, I like it. I like it. Next game. Everybody is stealing my loot. Tons of loot goblins. What the hell are all those guards with the shields? What on earth is happening in this game mode? There are actually people playing this game mode with turmoil? Oh, so if your team loses, you need to run back to your base and you need to do it quickly. Okay, okay, got it, got it. Hmm, okay, so after a couple of games, as a blue team, damn is your destination because that's just simply a nice place to be at and hunt people. Why am I getting killed after our team already has the victory? And there is only like five minutes remaining. What is this? Okay, guys, it's time to put our M14 into action with the 6X Go. But let's also try something else. I heard that M110 has been nerfed, but actually it's still very strong. Enemy red players are rushing them early game. Easy kills. The airdrops are simply trash. They have med kits and ammunition. No armor, no weapons, nothing. Why? What? Until now we had sunshine for a couple of games. And now we have rain and storm and rain and storm and it's dark. What's going on? This game mode gives you rank points and I'm already ace. So that's a big W. So guys, these were my first impressions. Happy to hear yours. Let's focus on the guns. I think that this is a sniper map, but to be more specific, I would go for the M110, SVDS, M14 mainly. I think the Mosin is not a great choice because of the uh, slow zooming. Then you have the AR30, which is decent, but I think it's a bit too expensive for this map. You have the AX50, which is an excellent choice. So if you have tons of money, then go for that. But even if you don't like the snipers, you could eventually try uh, an FAL with a 6X scope or 7X or even 20X and try the single ammunition or what is single tap, single shot mode. So instead of making it automatic like a single shot, then you could be using the H4, especially if you are a thermal player, or you could be using the AR-57 because that's beloved by the thermal players, eventually the AAC. But other than the guns I have mentioned, I think others just simply don't work. VSS, VSS, yeah, you could go with the VSS, but no mid-range gun, no shotgun, no SMG, forget about that. This game mode is about sniping, mainly sniping. So if you're up to it, you're going to farm tons of rank points and your loot is going to be stolen by others. But hey, let's enjoy this game mode as much as we can. To give you a quick summary, this is excellent for sniping. Even if you're not a sniper, you can start practicing. Yes, you're gonna face loot goblins, so be prepared for that. It would have been so nice if your kills would have been marked on the map and nobody else could look into that body and check the loot until you do. Except if you die, because in that case, 
we could be ensured that we get our loot. And in case we die, then it's open for others. I really hope that the Arena Breakout team is going to consider this. And not just for this game mode specifically, for all of them. It would mean the end of Loot Goblins. It's easy to die in this game mode. So even if you have three, four, five kills, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are safe and you can start running to your to your to grab your loot. So always be mindful and check your surroundings. Overall, for me, the game mode is like an eight or nine out of ten. Personally, I like these special events, but I wouldn't want to play them endlessly long. So. After a couple of games, like 10 games, I want to go back to the normal version or lockdown version of the maps and do the, like, the regular gameplay. Oh, and I almost forgot the winner in the guns category for me is the M14. Give it a try. Shoot, loot, subscribe. JD out. Bye.